Housing is an issue across Northeast Ohio and Wayne County is just one area feeling the impact. This week leaders there got some new numbers and recommendations on how to tackle the problem. News 5's Caitlin Hunt breaks it down for us. Wayne County has a lot of good qualities. There's great schools and high paying jobs, but a lack of housing seems to keep the county from developing even more. Absolutely. Lack of housing is something realtor Gina Chandler sees firsthand. But we definitely see it in our area uh, for people moving in, for uh, people who are trying to right size, so baby boomers who are trying to downsize and maybe families that are trying to have larger homes. Uh, we also see that people moving into the area don't have a lot of opportunity to, to have uh, homes here available. The shortage means longer wait times for buyers and bigger battles for the homes that are for sale. It usually takes a little bit longer um, and it's still causing for um, some homes to be in multiple offers and you know it would be nice just to have a, a plethora of homes to be able to show people. That could happen if Wayne County leaders follow the advice of Next Move Group. The research group presented its findings during a Wayne Economic Development Council meeting this week. After consulting local home buyers, builders, and other stakeholders, the group found Wayne County will need to build about 800 homes in the $350,000 to $500,000 range over the next five years. Plus, the county needs about 140 homes in the $150,000 to $200,000 range. Cities are being encouraged to look into rehabbing old homes or repurposing land to make room for these projections. Lack of housing has been a constraint for us that we've been eyeing for the last several years. Worcester's Community yes, and players. Economic Development Coordinator Jonathan Millay says the housing shortage has prevented the city from growing even more. Worcester is already working on 350 units with another 600 in development. Malay says more housing will not just help with local tax revenues, it will keep businesses and local talent in the area. Housing is an incredible piece of that puzzle of being able to welcome that new talent, as well as help to keep the individuals that we have today still a part of our communities. Another piece of that puzzle will be finding land for these new homes. Both Malay and Chandler believe Wayne County has a rich agricultural community and don't want to cut into more of those fields, but they think a balance can be found to meet the needs of current and future Wayne County homeowners. It is a great area. Um, people who live here love it and it's, it's so exciting to know that our city and county leadership is working hard to uh, improve on it. Next Move is also encouraging Wayne County to continue to give incentives to builders and use AI technology to keep the permitting process moving. In Wayne County, Caitlin Hunt, News 5.